A very good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to our channel, Mother Mary's Protection. Let us now listen to the Word of God. This is Catholic Daily Mass Readings and Reflections for January 11, 2024, Thursday of the first week in Ordinary Time. First reading, a reading from the book of First Samuel, chapter 4, verses 1 to 11. The Philistines gathered for an attack on Israel. Israel went out to engage them in battle and camped at Ebenezer, while the Philistines camped at Afik. The Philistines then drew up in battle formation against Israel. After a fierce struggle, Israel was defeated by the Philistines who slew about 4,000 men on the battlefield. When the troops retired to the camp, the elders of Israel said, Why has the Lord permitted us to be defeated today by the Philistines? Let us fetch the ark of the Lord from Shiloh, that it may go into battle among us and save us from the grasp of our enemies. So the people sent to Shiloh and brought from there the ark of the Lord of hosts, who is enthroned upon the cherubim. The two sons of Eli, Hophni and Phinehas, were with the ark of God. When the ark of the Lord arrived in the camp, all Israel shouted so loudly that the earth resounded. The Philistines, hearing the noise of shouting, asked, What can this loud shouting in the camp of the Hebrews mean? On learning that the ark of the Lord had come into the camp, the Philistines were frightened. They said, Gods have come to their camp. They said also, O oh, to us, this has never happened before. O oh, to us, who can deliver us from the power of these mighty gods? These are the gods that struck the Egyptians with various plagues and with pestilence. Take courage and be manly. Philistines. Otherwise, you will become slaves to the Hebrews, as they were your slaves. So fight manfully. The Philistines fought and Israel was defeated. Every man fled to his own tent. It was a disastrous defeat in which Israel lost 30,000 foot soldiers. The Ark of God was captured and Eli's two sons Hophni and Phinehas were among the dead. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. Response real son, your response, redeem us Lord because of your mercy. Yet now you have cast us off and put us in disgrace. And you go not forth with our armies. You have let us be driven back by our foes. Those who hated us plundered us at will. Your response, redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. You made us the reproach of our neighbors, the mockery and the scorn of those around us. You made us a byword among the nations a laughing stock among the peoples. Your response, redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. Why do you hide your face, forgetting our awe and our oppression? For our souls are bowed down to the dust. Our bodies are pressed to the earth. Your response, redeem us, Lord, because of your mercy. The acclamation, Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus preached the gospel of the kingdom and cured every disease among the people. 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Gospel. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark, chapter 1, verses 40 to 45. A leper came to him and kneeling down begged him and said, If you wish, you can make me clean. Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand, touched the leper and said to him, I do will it be made clean. The leprosy left him immediately and he was made clean. Then warning him sternly, he dismissed him at once. Then he said to him, See that you tell no one anything, but go show yourself to the priest and to offer for your cleansing what Moses prescribed. That will be proof for them. The man went away and began to publicize the whole matter. He spread the report abroad so that it was impossible for Jesus to enter a town openly. He remained outside in deserted places and people kept coming to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today's reflection on the readings. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Jesus genuinely worries about us. He feels affection for us. For our life, he has a plan. His intervention in our life and his atonement for our sins are part of that plan. Simply cry out to him. Give Jesus the freedom to do what only he can. Whenever he wants. Do as Jesus instructs us to do after we are forgiven. We are all here for a reason. Prayer Lord, purify me and kindle your love into my heart. May I never stop sharing your mercy and love with others. Amen. My dear friends, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. God bless you.